a brand managed or run company is usually well known and it is um, it gets that brand into the consideration set of customers by the word consideration set means when a buyer is about to buy in that product category what companies come up like you're going to buy an automobile um, most companies are not even in your consideration set maybe the, uh, the the automobiles are too cheap or they're too expensive there's a consideration set it's a choice between um, Toyota and, and Honda or whatever. It's, it's, so you want a, a strong brand means it's usually in the consideration set. Um, and then um, you would think your brand led if people know a lot about the brand, uh, your brand. They know the character of your company, the, the positioning and, and the value proposition and why they should be interested enough in, in, in you. Also, buyers normally have emotions toward a brand. It's not enough to say that um, they know the brand. They have a feeling for the brand. And, and it's a positive feeling. And then uh, the company has a brand strategy process. There's a process. I'll outline that for you. But, and there are documents about the branding activities. They're sort of secret documents. They're not public, but they have worked through branding. And um, such a company is probably measuring brand equity. And brand equity can be tracked. And, and you know, you hope it goes up every quarter. Or at least it's not down. And if you want a way to measure brand equity, there's different systems, by the way. It's really an averaging of a set of things. Uh, among the things that would be measured before you average those things with a weighted average would be amount of customer awareness. Has that increased? It's good if more customers have heard about you. The uh, level of favorability, how, many more, how much more favorable <coughs> is your brand seen to be? Um, and some other uh, factors, including a new one that has been called momentum. Does the brand have momentum? Uh, YNR is one company that has a system for measuring brand equity uh, that they have publicly described, and you could see it in literature or you could contact YNR. Um, and who's, who has momentum? We would say now uh, Google has a lot of momentum. I mean, look at all there. They're exciting, the things they've developed. Uh, Nokia has a lot of momentum. I think Samsung is growing in momentum in the cell phone business and so on. In any case, if you can get some tracking system, uh, you will be responsible for increasing brand equity, which really means that if you ever wanted to sell the brand, you've increased its value. I mean, what are you selling if you sell your brand? What, what, you know, Coca-Cola wants 77, $70 billion if you want to buy their brand, according to Interbrand. Interbrand's measure says Coke would be caught call for $70 billion. But brand equity is, uh, is to be measured. Uh, if you're not measuring it, please make a note and find out what you can. The, one of the best sources, uh, Kevin Keller's book, is for, uh, Strategic Brand Management, is very good on explaining brand equity and measures of it. Um, customer equity ought to be measured. A little, it's a different concept. Um, let's take a single customer. Suppose you could, for any single customer, estimate how much he or she will buy and how long. Maybe they'll be a customer for about four years and they'll buy maybe the constant amount or even a growing volume. And what will, what will your margin be, your profit margin be on what they buy? And bring all those numbers back to the present by discounting, you know. We call it the present value of a future income stream. And that's for one customer. Now, if you can do for all your customers, that sums to the customer equity. It's, it's the equity you have in your customers. Some co I, you know, two companies may be in the same business and have the same number of customers. Each company has 100 customers. Uh, consider two medical practices. So each doctor has 100 patients. Doesn't mean the customer equity is the same. 
one, one, one physician may have customers who are much older, so uh, the number of years they're going to continue to be getting their services from the doctor or it will be less than where there's a younger patient set, and, and so on and so forth. So customer equity is a kind of a present value of the, of the income stream you're going to get from your present customers. And uh, th there's a relationship between customer equity and brand equity. Sometimes one is better to measure than another. Both of them figure into what we call valuing your company. Like if you were to sell a part of your company, you'd like to base it pretty much on the brand equity or the customer equity, or both. 